How's it everyone? Welcome to the 2023 Lincolnshire Premier League season. It's great to be back playing for my home club, Whittle Spa, and I'm super excited for the league campaign ahead. As I'm sure many of you guys remember, we had a solid season last year, finishing seventh, with Bourne clinching the league in the final match of the season. There are a number of highlights, namely making three 50s in a row at the start of the season, PJ scoring runs for fun, and as a team, you can't look past our victory against Bourne. This year, with the addition of a few new players to the club, we are looking to kick on and challenge for those top spots. Personally, I have two main goals for the season. Firstly, to average over 35 and secondly, to score my first Premier League century. Obviously, at the end of each league season, there's promotion and relegation. So just to note that Skegness and Louth drops out of the league at the end of last season, with Grimsby being the only team coming up. And so this brings us to the first match of the season, which was against Sleaford, a team which, even though I've played numerous times, I've never beaten. We had heavy rain the night before and unfortunately, water got under the covers, soaking parts of the pitch. This this meant that it was all hands to the pump with various types of machinery and methods used to try and dry the pitch. James is inspected. He's not happy with the state of play. He's gonna have to wait another hour to a James's decision. So after a whole lot of work and an egg and bacon roll in between, we finally managed to get the pitch in a state where we could get a game. So with the match reduced to 30 overs, it was time to get the league season underway. If you'd like to follow our progress this season, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Also a big thank you to the patrons of the channel for your continued support. If you're not a patron and would like to support the channel further, please follow the link in the description or the card above. So without further ado, I'll roll on the footage with the captains ready for an important toss. It's a big toss for Kingy today. With all the moisture on the pitch, whoever wins the toss is going to have a big advantage. Simon? I'd like to bowl first. I think so, I think so too. I think if Kingy chooses to bat, we're going to riot. I'd have a battle. I'm sure you would. I'm sure you would. <laughs> there goes the toss. I think we've won it. 10 past bowling, come on. Bowling. What time is it now? <laughs> oh, Alright, that's fine. It's fine. Firstly, just to say it's been so good to see all the boys again. Touring for the last few months has been great, but there's nothing like playing cricket with good friends. So having won the toss and choosing to bowl first, we made a good start restricting the run rate and picking up a couple of early wickets. However, Sleaford's two key batsmen for the day, Andy and Tom, aided by some drop catches again, managed to steady the ship and put on a really good partnership. Andy scored 70 odd in the same fixture last season, so he has been a really annoying thorn in our side over the last couple of seasons. After reaching their century partnership, we managed to eventually get both of them out in quick succession. From this point, Matt Carter did what he does best, smothering Sleaford in the latter overs and taking three wickets in his final over to restrict the score to 148 of their 30 overs. So end of our innings, started off really well, kept them nice and quiet, but let's just say our catching needs a bit of improvement. Any comments about our catch today? Not good at all. No, cares as a spectator. He's got all his hands. Kingy leading by example, I reckon. <laughs> they got 148, so chasing 149. Got a good batting lineup, and the pitch is better than we thought it would be, so hopefully we can knock this off. We got some good firepower down the order. Coming on at five, so hopefully I can get an innings and uh, hopefully see the game out. So with the target of 149, our innings started off in the worst possible way, with Zach and Ollie both falling in the second over. Lucky for us, Tom and PJ steadied the ship and put on a really good partnership to get us back on track. We had some really clean hitters down the order, so the important thing was to get ourselves as close as possible without losing any more wickets. PJ and Tom did this really well. Yeah. 
Oh, boy. Oh, he's tough. Standard slow pitch. Is that right? Yeah, sticking he's in a bit. He's not really spinning it much. No. What I would say is, instead of trying to time it, look to hit it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you try and time it, it just goes nowhere. Like, see what you did with that shot? Yeah, yeah. You've almost got to try, like, hack it. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Not in a bad way, but, like, hit through the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, uh, obviously, Positive. I've never batted with so call loud. 100%. Look to rotate. Middle, please. Oh, yes! yes. Oops. Yeah, my plan look, just hit ones, call loudly. Yeah. The ball's there to whack, give it a yeah. go. I think we've all just got to be positive. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's loads of wickets in the shed. Ten, yeah. Six, what is it? 60, 63 runs. Just below. 66 balls or 72. Yeah. I don't know which. So <laughs> just below, run a ball in it. Yeah, perfect. Shots. Woo! Drop the shot, boy. Well done. Wait! Yeah, run, 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 run! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, go! No! Yes! Nice, mate. Nice. Keep him positive. Um, this guy. It's quite skiddy, actually. He's yeah, pretty yeah. good bowler. Faced him a few times. Anything so. wide, just flay out. Let's go for it. An edge, just fall. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Yes! Stop running, Tom. Well done. Gonna swing, swing hard, eh? <laughs> A bit tighter. That's what he was doing to me at the start, like, it's yeah. hard because it's so wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really reach it. Yeah, my foot wins. I just need to get close to the ball though, but it is I don't what it think is. You do. I think it's a good swing. Yeah? I think, like, just turn your shoulders a bit more. Yeah, yeah. That's like what yeah, I yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Oh, I like you, Jay. What can you do, man? What can you do? First time I've ever been to sleep since 2019. First time. We might stay out here. Yes, please. Well done, Paul. Well, great stuff, Wayne. Well done. Well done, Andy. Four batted out. Well done, Paul. Well done, Paul. Right, who do we have here? We've got Zach. Richmond Dixon. What are you doing the team? Miss Straight Ones? Oh. Miss Straight Ones. Uh, hold on, who Miss Straight Ones? Wow. You Miss Straight Ones. Come on. Miss Straight Ones, batting at one, and bowl some pies. Bowl some pies. Favourite cricketer? Uh, Kumar Sankara. Oh, fantastic. Left hander, because all right handers are rubbish. Oh, Off the top loads. Favourite cricketing moment? Probably Simon Jones, reverse swing. Uh, 
2005 Ashes. Tom Lowton, ball drag downs, Someone. hit him to deep mid wicket and drop easy catches usually. <laughs> Favourite cricketer, Jacques Callis. <laughs> Jacques Callis. Jamie, tell us what you do in the team. Well, I, I, yeah, from, what, from the looks of the side though, I don't think I'm going to get much of a go with the ball. But <laughs> <laughs> when in desperate need. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. Favourite cricketer? Ooh. I'd have to say Jack Callis. Jack Callis? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got to see it. Yeah. Oh, lack of yeah. favourite cricketing moments. Broke my leg at work once and I ma I've somehow got managed to watch the Stokesy 100 against Australia in Ashes. Oh, oh, that's that was, a great shot. yeah, great that shot. was something, yeah. Absolutely buzzing with that win. That's the first time that I've ever beaten Sleaford. What a great way to start the season. Goob's big match temperament at the end with the beautiful six to finish off. Well done to Tom for a brilliant knock. Set up the innings really well. Obviously missed a straight one, so hoping to improve there. To be fair, feel a bit undercooked in terms of preparation, but looking to uh, score some runs uh, in the next few weeks. So we really managed to capitalize on being the only match in the league that wasn't rained off this weekend. A really big win for us, which means we went top of the log. What a great way to start the season. Unfortunately, I will miss the next match against Grantham, but we'll be back for our third match of the season against Nettlem. As always, thank you so much for watching everyone and looking forward to the next match.